Hello my beautiful people, it is Sherry Moulton back with another video. Hope you're having an amazing day. I hope you enjoyed Sunday's video. I am over the moon how they turned out. So I probably will be doing some more hand painting because like I said before, I've done that before and I just kind of, I do too many things. I make jewelry. I can show how to do some of that. I was doing, um, oh my goodness, what's the resin? UV resin 15 years ago. So it's kind of cool because it had just kind of, was kind of relatively new when I was playing around with it then. So I may do some stuff and I'll show you some of my old stuff that I had made and maybe we'll play around with some new stuff with the UV resin. Now my UV resin, 14 years old, so I probably need new stuff. <laughs> so with that, today we're going to play around. We are going to make a tray. And we are going to try to do a bouquet of flowers, not just one. Now, I'm going to try this method. I love how these turned out. I'll have to do a little bit of a top coat of resin on the back because I didn't fill them fully because this is how I always did my, I've been doing these for a little bit. So take a look in my coasters and all of these videos are there. So um, I would do them. This would be the like the backside and then I would always top it with a pigment and glitter. So you have two beautiful coasters. And So that is what we're going to do today, but we're going to do it with the alcohol inks and I'm going to try to do a few flowers. So I'm going to play first to see how many I'm going to do, but you could probably get maybe five flowers in this tray. I'm thinking, thinking. <laughs> so with that, my amazing people, I am going to go, I have moved my whole table. I'm in the process of starting that huge two foot by six foot geode. It's three two foot by two foot canvases. So my whole table has been cleared off. My camera was way on the other side of the room. It was up to the ceiling. So I had to move it because I haven't actually, I've painted it and I've done the basics. You'll see, cause I'm doing the video. But anyways, had to rearrange everything. So. I can't find some of my stuff. So I'm gonna go mix my resin up. As I'm mixing my resin, I am using my respirator. I will have my gloves on. When I come back from mixing my resin, I am not wearing my mask so I can do my video, but please wear your mask the whole time you are using it. I'm just, being adult, I'm choosing not to do that for video purposing. Resin of choice is always crystal resin. I'm gonna have it in a bath upstairs. So I'm gonna mix it up in more ways than one. <laughs> and I'll be right back guys. I'll see you in a second. Okay, I am back. I have mixed up, I'm doing 12 ounces of resin because Sherry's getting old and forgetful. And I have a 20 marked in the bottom corner of my mold and I'm pretty sure is it 20 ounces? <laughs> so I thought in my little brains, I thought that I would do 10 ounces in there now and I'm going to back it like I did these with some glitter. And I don't know what color or whatever, but we'll figure that one out later. So I want to do right now is going to put, um, two ounces of, I've cleaned my mold. When I clean it, I use my tape and just use it all over it. And if there's still something on there, then I get out my alcohol and give it a nice little wash, make sure it's dry. Well, it doesn't matter because it's got alcohol, but um, with that, I am going to um, spritz a little bit into this mold and then that way you don't get here i'm going to put you on pause for a minute guys okay i'm back i had to fill up my 
my alcohol was empty. So this is what I use. It is isoprofen alcohol, 99%. That's a big thing, guys. If it's under 90, it won't do what you're intending it to do for um, bursting your bubbles. I'm just going to give it a spritz. And I put it in a, a spray bottle. And I'm just spritzing so that around the edges, you do not get bubbles. All right. Let me just do this quick because it, it looks like there's so much in there. I've never done this before on the bottom. There's quite a bit in there. There. All right. I'm just going to pour two ounces in this cup, which is so hard to see. I'm just going to fill it because I can't tell what's on there. Actually, I guess if I... Oh. What is that? A little off the lip of my thing. Okay. And I put my whole stick in there. Ugh. Sherry, sherry, sherry. And that's about it. So that's my two ounces that's going to be used to mix my pigment up. So I'm going to pour this in here. And see how far it goes. Because like I said, I don't want it full. I'm going to come back with a backing on it. And I think that was perfect. I'm just going to scrape out all of this goodness. And, um... Like I've mentioned before, I take my resin upstairs into my kitchen sink because in my basement it's a little chilly, even though I've got heaters going and everything else. Um, here in Canada, our basements are usually cold. And anyhow, with any resin, not just the resin that I choose to use, it will lessen your curing time. You will have or speed up the curing, whichever way you want to look at it. It will, I'm just going to wipe this off. It will, um, say the crystal resin that I use, it has usually a 30 to 40 minute working time. When I heat it up, it might only be 20 minutes or a half an hour, as opposed to the extended. So with that, so for this method, it actually works out pretty good because you're not, um, worrying about it um, going on you. I'm just going to wipe this big, big bad boy out first. Sorry guys, I know I just want to wipe out what I can and then that way it's easier to clean later. <laughs> I love these ones. These are OXOs. I got them off of Amazon, but my goodness, they're hard to clean sometimes, especially if you put pigments in it. All right, I'm going to wipe my hands off. I'm going to let that sit. See all the bubbles coming up. And I honestly don't see any bubbles on the edges. That's pretty cool. All right. So I'm going to mix up my, sorry, Laura, it is all beaten up. This is from Larez. This is Angel White. And that's what you use. I always used to use casting craft opaque pigment when I started doing these. And then um, Laura has given me this, so I've got to using this. I always knew how much to do. I did 10 drops of the oh, casting craft in two ounces of resin. So this one's always, for me, a hit and miss because I never know how much I'm really putting in. So I've stirred up my pot, and it's cold, and I am just... I scraped, but there's a little bit on there, so I'm going to leave that in there. And when you have too much in it, that's when you get the blobs, as opposed to not having... Yeah, so there's my... Just mixing it up. Scrape. 
scrape it off the edge. I like these sticks, but it's hard to get the pigment off it sometimes. Oops, I shouldn't be doing that over. If any of you know me, I will end up with it in my resin when I don't want it in there. There, that's beautiful. Nice and bright and white. And today we are going to put it in a piping bag. That's how I always did it. So we're doing some new, some old. There, perfect. So I'm gonna let that sit just for a few minutes. I'm gonna get my, um, again, I've moved everything off my table, so it's even worse. I can't find it when it's on a normal day. I just got this little kitchen torch. This one I got at the dollar store. I like it because there's not much of a flame to it. I'm just going to get in here and burst the bubbles that I can see. And you don't want to stay too much in one spot. I'm seeing things, but it's hard to tell if it's on this or if it's on the mold itself. So I'm going to do that. Let it sit for a little bit more. And maybe give it a spritz of this alcohol ink. I don't know why I do it, but I, it's why I wanted to go for a brain scan. Because, you know, I keep saying the wrong things. Alcohol, isoprofen alcohol, not alcohol ink. I don't use ink to spray to get rid of bubbles. <laughs> Wow. I am Sherry. I am special. Let me grab some of my pins. I can see actually big bubbles here. One there. Come on, come up to mama. Another one there. Perfect. You see them just bring them up to the surface and they should pop. I am happy. I probably had three or four people tell me to spray the edges of my molds with the alcohol. And I thank you for that. Because it looks like it's working. I just want to bring these up. They're down in there pretty deep. All right, perfect. I'm gonna keep this out because there's always a little fluff fluff around here. So these are my pinata alcohol inks. And I'm gonna choose to do, I'm gonna say this right, Baja Blue. I am going to use Blue Violet. Um, we will use sun bright yellow. Um, let me see. Let's do which one of these? I don't want the dark, dark green. We'll do five. This one is teal. We will do violet passion. Oh. Senorita Magenta. So there's six colors. So we'll see how far I get with those. I got a rose. I got coral. I'm just trying to think of... Oh, let's do the... I haven't done this one. This one is Orange Calabaza. Or Calabaza Orange. We'll use orange. We will do the Baja Blue. Baja Blue. We will do the Blue Violet. That one's a gorgeous color. I do want the Senorita Magenta, or yeah, Magenta Senorita, or whichever way, and the yellow. Now, if I don't get much out of that Senorita, I will use the rose. There, so we got five. So I'm going to put this up here, uh, down there, just in case. Now I got this sitting here. I'm gonna put it in. This is just a 
Ziploc bag. I'm going to pour it in here. And we're going to put some alcohol ink down. What I'm going to try to do, I'm going to try and spread it out and do maybe three, maybe only one drop. We'll see how it goes. I'll try and get all of it out of here because I might use it for something else at the end. I'm going to wipe off this stick. These sticks are amazing. I got them from uh, Crystal Resin. They're amazing. In paint, they're amazing in anything. All right, so I got that in here. We're just going to do all this, twist it up, and we'll cut the hole when we're ready to use it. But I will leave it sitting in my my cup for the moment and where do we start so we've got five that's hilarious I've been watching <laughs> um, Vivian tries or whatever her name is Vi, Vivian heads <laughs> it's hilarious what comes to my brain so we're gonna start with let's do the magenta and see if it works we'll do that in the middle And I'm going to do one drop. I find this stuff, this, I don't know if any other, it's the only alcohol ink I've ever used. So different brands may do different things and I don't know. I just kind of want to see. wanting to keep it I don't want it to spread spread so that's two and a half let's do this is the a blue violet oh gosh no see there's always something my friends always something let me get Oh my goodness, I said again, I moved everything right. I'm just gonna tap my finger in and get rid of these little things that come off of the lid. Of the silly. There. My goodness. Okay, so we're gonna do that. We'll do, we're well, gonna space it. Let me just see what this does. We'll do three and just let it do its thing. We'll come over here and do the blue over here. I may add another drop in there, we'll see. I think that's what I want to do. We'll do it that way. I don't know if I like that one. That's the orange. And the yellow. We'll do a bit of that one. You know what? I think I'm just going to keep laying colors and see where it goes. I like the idea that they're small. This is the, oh, that's the rose. We'll do the, and again, guys, this might not even turn out. And 
And let's get some more blue. It's hilarious. When I put it in that flower, it just went like nuts. Maybe I'll add to it to make it a little bigger. Cause That's hilarious. It looks like a petal already. Um, let's do another yellow one. We'll do it down here. And over here. The purple we will... Just to make it a little bigger. I just think it's funny how it's not moving. Um, what the heck, we'll put some of that forest green. counter out that green so we'll put one here just a little and that magenta I don't know I think that's it for that one my friends oh my goodness okay let's do passion purple this might not look nice at all, we'll see. And I think it's sitting too long, that's why it's not doing anything. All right, let's get this. It is gonna be. Now when you cut this, you wanna do the smallest, the smallest, the smallest. I cannot stress this enough smallest amount and just like that because you want the smallest hole coming out I'm just gonna wish me luck guys we're gonna start Ooh, it just wants to keep coming out here let me cut this off because this end of the bag is in the way And I have it everywhere. So we're just gonna and go around the end. You wanna cover the outside of the flower. And I'm just going messy. When I used to do this, I would, was so precise. And this might be an epic fail, guys. But I like to play around.
just make sure you encase each color. Like this guy here, we might want to do that. I'm going to come back and the ones that I see here, like this yellow, orange, I want to do the whole outside of it. I think they look good so far. Oh, you don't want blobs. Oh my goodness, Sherry, what was I doing there? And you can kind of fix the blobs. Bring in your stick and even them out. I am so debating whether to try some leaves. Where's that green? No, we're going to leave it. 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 So I may come back in, do another couple little swirls. Make it bigger. Just so that they're inter intertwine this might be a huge epic fail but doing it all on the outside you're gonna get them so you don't have these big gaps because I didn't put them close enough Wow, and I think maybe for the first time, I'm going to use the whole bag. What the heck? Better make sure I got enough left, though. We'll put these two kind of together. awesome again it may look like not not good but we're gonna let it do its thing i'm gonna come in with where did i put them where did i put them where did i put them mm -hmm. all right i'm not gonna go deep so i'm just gonna use a stir stick and normally i would use my silicone things but again my whole table is all messed up. So, I'm just going to do, try to make a little flower pattern. I'm just going to do it on some of them, not all of them. And swirl. Do a lot of little ones on this one just for something different I normally don't do these because I like the idea when they're not so uniformed let's do the four corners that way wipe off after every time because you don't want to drag that color up into another spot where you don't want the color right in a swirl let's do this big guy in the end and 
And I, what I like about this, it is like back in the day when I had my kids, you didn't know what you were having. It was a surprise. And that's how I think of this. <laughs> you don't know what you get until you flip it out. It's a surprise. Let's try and bring these together. So that's more. We'll do this one as well. Oh, with the hay. We'll just do them all. I'll try and do them quick. Remember, do not go so far down that you're hitting your mold. You want to make sure that you're catching... Oh, I like that one because it's got a little bit of orange in it. Um, let's do... You can see it's blooming already. I'm not sure if you're if I'm right in on your view, but I definitely do not want these dark colors mixing in with the light ones. Some I'll do a whole bunch, some I'll do a little. Like this guy. Uh, see, you're going to get some of the mix together. I think this is going to be cool. I'm going to shift my tray this way because it looks like, mind you, things tend to go into the center. I'm just wanting to make sure that it's not because my tray is off kilter. So let's do this one. These are two combined. This is the ready... I need to get another, here, I'll just use one that I threw out already. That's not so messy. All right, let's do. Swirl. I can't remember if I did that one or not. Like I said, some I'm doing a lot of petals, some I'm doing a little. I like that Baja blue. Oh, and that. Senorita, magenta, senorita is beautiful as well. Okay, let's get this red one in the middle. Actually, that's the senorita. I think I only have these, these one.
and I'm just going to swirl and this one this is it guys and then I got to go to work and we're just going to let this do its thing let me just double check I did that one they're all done see now you're going to get some other colors mixed in because I did like that's going to I just think it might be cool. And it is working. Awesomeness. Awesomeness. All right, I'm going to cover it. And when I say cover it, I'm going to use oh, my coworker, Sandra. She's the one that gave me the actual, she gave me these, a case of those. And this cute little thing, it is a, <laughs> it is um, a food saver out in the picnic kind of thing. And it's got little flowers on it. So anyways, we're going to let this do its thing. When I come home from work, it should be good enough to put a backing on. I'm not going to look at it. We're not going to know what it looks like until the morning when we unveil it. So with that. I'm going to clean up here and I'll see you guys after work. See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Hello, I am back from work. Now, look how this went. Is that not kind of neat how it all kind of shifted down here? And it wasn't because my tray was on level. It's just the way the chemistry works sometimes. The backside looks like not very nice compared to how it looked on these coasters. But... I'm going to flip it around and look at that. Can you see? I'm pretty sure we have a pretty bouquet of flowers in there. So what I'm going to do, I have mixed up eight ounces of crystal resin while I was mixing. I used my respirator. I am now using not the respirator so I can talk to you and finish this up. Awesome. So I decided I'm going to do a black background on this. So I have, um, this is from Crystal Resin. It is a black pigment paste. And we are going to use that inside here. Going to mix it up. And gonna... put that in here. I'm using these cups because I don't like putting glitter and pigments in the other one. They're hard to get out of those. I love those OXO cubes, those OXO, OXO, um, just want to get all of that pigment off there. And mix it up. Look at that. Beautiful. I'm thinking I'm going to add just a tad if I have any left because it's kind of gives it like an opalescent -y. I'm going to use a little bit of my black diamonds. This one is black onyx. Just to give it a little, it's kind of nice sometimes to mix them up. Ah, there we go. Because I want it to be and I'm doing like that much of the spoon into my resin that already has the pigment paste. I'm going to slowly mix that up so I don't throw it everywhere. And it gives it that nice kind of a pearly the pigments are nice. Gives it that little bit of a... I don't know how to explain it. I'm explaining it right. And then, are you ready? Because the fun is going to begin. I'm just going to grab something to wipe off my glove here. I've got black all over it. And now I'm going to add the wonderful, the amazing... The star of the show, some mirror, mirror. This is from Laura's Art Corner. 
Oh my goodness. And where are my little wee spoons? Everything got moved around on me. Oh, there they are. Oh. And we're going to give it a little bit of a... Oh, there's one already in there. Give it a little bit of a stir because it's chunky and light. And we're doing one heaping spoon. And we'll see where that takes us. guys do I do one more let's do a half I already got one in there so there that's kind of like a lovely a lovely get that in there come on I don't want to lose any of that because that's like liquid gold that is even though it's kind of silver mix that in and I didn't quite fill this half, this is overfilled halfway. Pretty sure that the 20 on the back of my mold means that there's 20 ounces. So here we go guys, we're just gonna pour on top. And all of that lovely glitters are gonna be beautiful in there. Don't want to overfill it, so I'm just going to let it go where it needs to go. I think that's enough. I'm excited. I'm going to have to find something to put that black in. So I'm going to take my little, little wee wee torch. What I like about doing this with the glitter because the glitter is going to really shine through on the other side. I'm going to come back with some of my 99% rubbing alcohol, isopropyl alcohol to burst the rest of the bubbles. And then we're going to get this beauty all tented up with one of these lovely little beautiful tents with all the flowers on it. Thank you, Sandra. So there you go, my friends. With that, I'm going to love you, leave you, and I will see you bright and early in the morning with some beautiful bouquet. Bye, guys. Hello. We are all ready to go. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited. Let's get into this puppy. It looks like a starry night. Look at that. I'm excited. Scared. It looked like it turned out, but you never know. Are you ready, guys? One, two, three. Is it a bouquet of flowers? Oh, my goodness. Look at that. I'm happy. That turned out actually quite cool. Not so, I, so used to the vibrant colors, but I like how those pastelis, and it's kind of neat how they kind of all went in. Yeah, I'm impressed. Very cool. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, if you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And um, 
give it a share. And if you are new to the channel, look, I made hearts. If you're um, new to the channel and have not yet subscribed, please, please <clears throat> think about subscribing and give it a share if you like with the content. And with that in my description box, I'll have the, the everything that I used here today. And I have the links to my Amazon shops, which I'm an affiliate with. I have the links to where to purchase TriArt Liquid Gloss. I have the links to Fundy Molds with a discount code. I have the links to where to um, purchase Crystal Resin, which we've used here. I also have the links to Let's Resin with a discount code. It's Sherry M10, capital S, capital M. And I also have the links to the two amazing Lares distributors. My Canadian one is Michelle from Artworks Resin Canada. With the discount code is Sherry Molten 10, capital S, capital M. And the amazing Laura from Laura's Art Corner, my glitter guru. Um, the American Lares distributor. And my discount code for Laura is all capital letters, Sherry Molten 10. And my PayPal link is in there if you choose to donate to help support the channel. And with that, my friends, I'll give you one more little quickie close up. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. That is pretty sweet. There you go. My spring bouquet. I'm wishing spring was here. <laughs> that, guys, I'll see you next one. Love you guys. Bye.